Hey, it is Kenny from Kenny's Audio File Rec Reviews. Thank you very much for viewing my channel. Please like and subscribe. I sincerely appreciate that. Hope everybody's enjoying being part of the vinyl community, the audiophile community. What a fabulous, uh, uh, you know, duo of communities to be a uh, part of. And I'm, I'm proud to be part of the vinyl community, the audiophile community. And thank you for welcoming me in. I appreciate that. But in this video, I want to show what I think is, at least in my opinion, the most different and unique record I have in my record collection. This is my personal opinion. And please please leave yours in the comment section below. I'd sincerely appreciate, appreciate that. But over the years, I've purchased some records that are somewhat different, unique. I'm going to show a few of them in this video and say what I think is the most unique for last. Uh, this record obviously have, has two sides, and it's the second side of the record that I think is the most unique part of that record. And I'll show you that at the end of the video. But I have various records in my collection I, I think I would deem as unique or quote-unquote different. And I'll show you some examples. For example, this one. Now, this is Foster Brooks. For those of you out of the country, or for those of you who may not be old enough to know who Foster Brooks is. He was a famous comedian in the United States. He probably had his peak, you know, fame period in the 70s, maybe 80s. But he was a fantastic uh, comedian. He really was. But this is an album which Foster Brooks sings. And people don't realize this, but he actually had a very nice singing voice. But this is not, un not the most unique and different record in my record collection. Nor is it nor is it this one. Field Guide to Western Bird Songs. Why did I buy this record? Well, when I'm outside, I hear these, especially when, where me and my wife live now. It's open and we live up on a hill and a lot of birds and stuff. And it's, it's beautiful hearing those birds. But I bought this years ago and I thought it'd be awesome to hear these birds <laughs> in a high fidelity uh, setup. So this is not the most unique and different record in my record collection at all. Nor is it this one. I love sound effect records. And this record, Sports Cars at Sebring and High Five, High Five, uh, High Five, I should say. Um, when you play that, this is a mono, by the way. And when you play this loud, it sounds awesome on a stereo setup, in my opinion. But that's not the most unique and different record in my record collection. Nor is it these various test pressings. I have several test pressings, and these are not the most unique and different records in my record collection. Nor is it these white label promo records. I have a lot of these. These are not the most unique and different records in my record collection. I have several autograph records that I bought secondhand. Some of them I got directly, but several of them I got uh, secondhand. And I have not got them authenticated. I don't know if they are authentic. But here's one by um, Horace Silver. And this is not the most unique uh, item in my record collection either. But this is an album by Horace Silver. It's very difficult to make this album out because my album doesn't do good with red colors. I mean, my uh, camera does not do good with red colors, but... This is autographed by Horace Silver, and it's probably difficult to make out because of the color of the album and the lighting. But this is not the most unique record in my record collection. This says, For Karen, Sincerely, Horace Silver. And this was not the most unique record in my record collection either. This one is autographed. And it's autographed by Morgana King. And she was an amazing singer, underrated singer. And this is another one that's difficult to make out. Um, hope you can see it. But she signs an autograph. And like I said, it's probably difficult to make out. She signs an autograph as the godmother. Now, Morgana, Morgana King played uh, Vito... Corleone's wife in The Godfather. Um, that was Marlon, Marlon Brando's character. She had a brief role in the movie 
as his um, as his wife. And she autographed this, like I said, as a godmother. This is a unique item, but I'll, this is not the most unique item in my collection, I don't think, in my opinion. But the most unique record in my record collection, now I said there's several to choose from that I would say, is this record. And the most unique part is the second uh, side two of this album. But this is a, a 16 inch record. A 16 inch record. And let me see if I can pull, pull a record up to give you some type of scale. This is a normal record, RPM, uh, a normal album right here, my, uh, right here. And this is a 16 inch record right here. Just to give you a sense of scale. But this was issued, I believe, you know, sometime between 1946 and 1949. And side one, as you see, it has a, a radio station logo on it, KFI. KFI is a famous radio station here in Los Angeles. Very well known radio station in, here in Los Angeles, especially, you know, back in the day. But this side one, features the singer Fran Warren. Now, Fran Warren was a singer between 19, uh, I think the late 40s, uh, around 1978. Here's one of her records. And she, she had a nice voice. But that's not the most unique side of the record. But if she, her career started in around the late 40s from what I heard on the internet, this was very early in, in her career. I'll show you the uh, label one more time. This was very early in her career. And this, like I said, is a transcription record um, used for radio commercials. And there's metal underneath the black, I assume, vinyl part. And it's difficult to see, but part of it's bent here. And part of the metal or aluminum or whatever is exposed. It's probably difficult to see because of the lighting, and I apologize for that. But I bought this because it's very unique. And when I explain side two, you'll understand why. And the condition of this record is not that great. It's so-so at best. And I didn't get it to play, but just because it's unique. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to frame it and put it in my music room. Um, but the m most unique side is side two because I'm from, uh, I was born in Los Angeles, raised in a greater uh, Los Angeles area. And I've been in, you know, Southern Cal California my whole life. But the side two features radio commercials. Um, for a football team called the Los Angeles Dons. Now, the Los Angeles Dons were members of the league that was in, in existence from 1946 to 1949. It was called the uh, AAFL, All-American Football Conference. And they were competing with the NFL real briefly. Like I said, they were in existence between 1946 and 1949. And the um, league folded after that. But this is a 16-inch record. It's too big to play in my Riga P8 turntable. Uh, but it's it can be played on my Technics SP15 turntable, but barely. But like I said, these are radio commercials. Each one of these cuts on this album are radio commercials uh, advertising the game between the Los Angeles Dons and the San Francisco 49ers. The tickets... From, uh, I li just listed this not too long ago, were $1.50 for adults and 75, uh, 75 cents for children. But um, that league, the All-American Football Conference, like I said, lasted three years, 1946-1949, and it wasn't a total loss because three of the teams from that league transferred over to the National Football League. They were the San Francisco 49ers, the Cleveland Browns, in the original Baltimore Colts. But because of uh, the Los Angeles connect, uh, connection and because uh, it's a Los Angeles football team, the Los Angeles Dons were the first team to play, professional football team to play in a LA Coliseum, to my understanding. And the Los Angeles Rams debuted their first game a couple of weeks after that. But in 1946 was uh, the Los Angeles uh, Dons debut in Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. But because of the uniqueness of this record, like I said, because of the uh, 
it's sports, it's football, because it's a Los Angeles football team, because his record is so big, this is the most unique record in my record collection. Please leave your most unique and different record in your record collection in the uh, comment section below. Thank you very much for viewing my video. God bless, strong love, and peace to all worldwide.